So God said that it was all very good when he made man and he made Eve and he made the plants and the flowers. He sat back on the seventh day, he rested and he looked at his work and he enjoyed his uh, work. And it says that God's going to make a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. God will sit back and say, wow, that is good. In my father's house, there's many mansions, Jesus said. If it were not so, I would have told you. But he told them, he said, there's many mansion houses. And uh, because there's many mansion houses, it means to say that, uh, you know, there's like hundreds of millions. So, and you're talking about all the empty houses left behind with the devils, they left all those houses behind because they were thrown out of heaven, right? And um, all those ancient palaces are just waiting to be vacated by all the billions from planet Earth. So we should um, be remembering how God created everything good. and um, But man polluted it and badness came into the world disobedience led to death and that death is um, in our bodies so that all of us are dying from different things bit by bit and it's a work we have to do in fighting death it's a work we have to do in staying alive in uh, like this food here you know we have to break it down and and crush it and uh, turn it into wheat and turn it into cereals and into bread to be able to eat and restore it keep it dry so that we can use it in the winter time and uh, God has made everything good to start with and this death which is in humans it created um, if you like genetics and stuff and the different genes have got different um, deaths in them now the thing is with the death which was introduced and the worms which eat our bodies and they break down our bodies it was a slow process to start with God said he he repented God that he'd made man. He was sad that he'd made man. Because man turned his uh, heart to evil. And it was no longer good. God said, I will destroy all living things from off the face of the earth. All God's wonderful works covered in water. When the flood came took them all away and they knew not the Bible says and uh, it'll be like that when Jesus comes back to the earth says the people will know not they knew not God nor the gospel and it says that as it was in the days of Noah so shall it also be in the coming of the Son of Man as they were eating and drinking marrying and given in marriage and they knew not until the flood came and took them all away there may have been a few who laughed at Noah a few who saw him but Noah couldn't have been a witness to the whole world but it does say that Jesus went and preached to the spirits in prison in the days of Noah in the, book of Peter, the letter of Peter and uh, Jesus witnessed to the world by preaching through the Holy Spirit as well because it says the Spirit would not always strive with man Genesis chapter 6 because man's heart was evil continually from his youth upwards and uh, God can make the blind and the deaf and the dumb and the lame and the sick and the everybody who's dying because he put the sentence of death on us just like that storm now today is going up to uh, 
what do they call it, something Christi, Corpus Christi. I'm not sure, I think that's Latin for body of Christ, isn't it? This big storm is going to rage there today, the hurricane. First one in about 12 years. Uh, so, uh, they have had super hurricanes and super typhoons since on the other side of the world. And this storm, which is going to rage, uh, it's going to, uh, they reckon, cause flooding, a lot of rain coming down with it. What has that got to do with God made everything good and it repented God that he'd made man? Well, there was flood. Noah's flood was God's destruction on the earth and Jesus is going to come back and uh, he preaching to the world. The gospel said, the Bible says, the gospel will be preached in all the world. And then the end will come as a witness. And uh, they were beheaded for the witness of Jesus Christ. The testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. He told in the Revelation. And um, this particular storm, you know, it's just reminded me that God would not flood the earth again. He promised, that's why he put the rainbow in the sky. And the rainbow is wonderful, sign of God's mercy. Uh, you've got the dark colours and the light colours. The dark colours remind me of God's judgment and his justice. And the lighter colours, more of God's love and his mercy. And in the world, we've got good things, even though death is in our bodies. And we're born uh, to die now. We're on the road to death, wherever we are. That uh, God kills and God makes alive. I mean, the thing is, this goodness God's given us as well. It gives us nice food to eat. It's given us many good things. More good things than bad. But death has been introduced. And we have to work. Like in the Israelites, 40 years wandering in the wilderness. They wandered, but they had uh, death. All of them were to die in, in the wilderness. Because of their unbelief, they said there was giants on the land. And they got a bit scared. And two of them came back, Joshua and Caleb said, we can defeat the giants, you know. God's... Uh, on our side, he'll fight for us and that. And um, the thing is, there was giant grapes, and there was. Uh, it took two men to carry one bunch of grapes. And it says there was human giants, very tall people. And um, even in the Bible, in the, before the flood, it says there was giants on the earth, giant humans and giant animals. I call them dinosaurs now. And uh, the thing is, with these floods coming now to Texas, Jesus said the sea and the waves will roar at the last days. And um, so there's a change in the climate predicted by Jesus. And we're seeing uh, super typhoons and things. Okay, there's a lot more tornadoes, huge storms across America we've been seeing, massive. So um, the thing is, God's promised not to flood the earth again, right? But he's not going to melt the ice caps so that it floods the whole earth. That's not going to happen. But this, this low ground may get flooded to affect the sea, to ways, the sea and ways are going to roar, Jesus said. So um, we need to think about that um, prediction. And against Gog and Magog as well, there was three pestilence and fire and blood and vapor of smoke giant hail and Gog is predicted as attacking the, you know the Christian church going up attacking the saints and uh, so uh, again it's also predicted it to attack Jerusalem which would be brought back um, and after thousands of years, and, and they have been. So, uh, as the Christian church is getting attacked, the New Jerusalem, so is Jerusalem and being attacked. 
uh, my enemy's enemy is my friend, is the saying. Um, but uh, one of the Jewish leaders, uh, I'm not sure if it was Netanyahu, one of them, he said, my, you know, enemy's enemy is my enemy. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, so the thing is, um, it's what Jesus said, the sea and the waves will roar. And the, as it was in the days of Noah, so should it be. And people don't know. They don't want to know, and they turn in a blind eye to all that's going on. Two of those giant animals, by the way, were the elephants. And uh, so two of every kind was taken on. And uh, we've got to think as well about what Jesus said, you know, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And uh, that message we preach all over the earth. There's no other way. There's no other prophet. There's no other person. No other way. Through Jesus Christ only do we get to heaven. He died on the cross for our sins. Nobody else died for our sins. He rose again on the third day for us, for our justification, so that we can go to heaven. We love and believe in him. So now is the accepted time, and uh, today is the day of salvation. Recently, drying up again now. Anyway, just about finishing. Yeah. You having your picnics? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. keep climbing up a tree. Did you? Why? Lovely. But although the world's not going to be destroyed by fire. By um, water, I mean, it will be destroyed by fire. And um, the more I read those passages of the Bible, the more I think that, that man will probably start destroying the world with um, nuclear bombs at the very last. And uh, as I was saying, that 276 your thing. It's interesting, you know, that the 276, no, it's not 276, it was 376 years. And 376 days whoa, converts to 376 prophetical years. For one day shall be to you for a year. God says, and if that's the case, 376, it's interesting, if you count back with me, watch, 1643 to 1743 to 1843, 1943, that's 300 years, okay, add 76, what do we have? Let's do the maths. 43, <coughs> call it 50, um, and that's your 7, plus another 50, and that's 57, plus another 10, that's 67, and we'll call it another 9, 76. So there's your 376. So 300. 76 is the number given for a time times and half a time No, it's not that's the other text which is for 1260 uh, days or years No, let's just get this right. It's one is is about the time the prophets were dead in the street uh, Which was basically the Bible written in Latin it was kept hidden the Old and New Testament in Latin for since the time of uh, 325 to Martin Luther because Martin Luther was about 1500 and something I forget now the exact uh, actually it's 500 years celebrating him next year so 2018 so it must have been uh, in 18 1518 when he 
came on the scene, I suppose, with the 95 Thesis or whatever it was. Anyway, the thing is, go back to the 376 and in Revelation chapter 9 and verse 15, it says that it, it was a, a day, a year, a month and an hour. And I think the hour means it's going to be specific time, it will happen, it's, it's a confirmation right to the day that they're spitting out fire, brimstone and smoke and the time of the preparation for it would be 376 days or years, 376 years because remember what day is a year? It's Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 6 so uh, when we say the 70 weeks in Daniel chapter 9 that Messiah would be cut off and die on the cross for our sins uh, that 70 weeks was 490 days, which is 490 years. And um, the thing is, with this particular uh, 376, it says the preparation. Now, in the time of Cromwell, which was, I just gave you the date, was uh, 1643, and the Civil War ended in 1646, the first Civil War anyway, where 85,000 died. Uh, the thing is, it could have been 200,000 died. It was the first major world battle, if you like. And if we take the time as being accurate, and I think there's no reason why we shouldn't, because the time works out for everything else in the Bible. The 40 days was 40 years to the time of the Babylon captivity. Ezekiel 4 verse 6. Daniel's 70 weeks was from the, you know, prophecy of the, when they built the walls to the time of um, Messiah being cut off and the time of Revelation being that the 1260 years or days or years was the time of the Bible kept in Latin. There's accuracy there all the time. Even that you should have tribulation ten days. There was ten persecutions, you know, uh, separate ones under the Caesars up till 325. Uh, first Pope and the Constantine, by this sign conquer. He went out conquering with the sign of the cross, flaming cross. And by the sword, he forced people to become hypocrites. Um, anyway, the thing is. <clears throat> All this particular scriptures tell us that 376 has to be accurate. And it says 200 million were involved there in death. And there's already been 129 million died already since the First World War. And the First World War, if you used to calculate the five months or 150 days in Revelation chapter 9 as well, that was the flying creature which flew uh, like uh, locust flies with wings. It says it has wings, that one. And it lasted for 150 days, which is 150 years, I believe. And already it's been 103 years since the First World War, when airplanes were used to drop bombs. And um, so we may have 40 odd years left, but, uh, and the stars appear in 2022. She said we're signing the stars, the red supernova. So I don't think we've got long left. And um, we may have some more time, but what is this war? The kings of the east, it says, being prepared. Kings of the east uh, coming over. Oh, it's just, uh, the river Euphrates gets dried up. It talks about three frog-like spirits or something coming out of the water. I wonder what they are. It could be the false prophet and uh, it could be the communistic socialism around the world. It goes on the face of the four corners of the earth. Whatever's got on the four corners of the earth attacking the church. Uh, what's the next one? I don't know. Uh, it, it could be uh, anything. I'm not sure. Could be paganism, could be, you know, false religion, it could
could be old. I don't know. Anyway. So, uh, the thing is, is um, we're living in those last moments in time now. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to paradise when God makes a new heaven and a new earth where it dwells righteousness. And uh, it says the elements will melt with fervent heat. Could be the atomic bomb. Uh, you know, the eyes will dissolve in the sockets. Could be used at some point. It's already been used, isn't it? Hiroshima and that, Nagasaki. So, you know, yeah, beautiful sights will there be. Wonders in the heavens above and that. Men's hearts failing and for fear for those things coming on the earth. Yeah. Well, let's just hope that people look at their little uh, phones and find out where they're elevated above the ground and they don't stay in that storm. They better get out if the flooding's going to flood them. They need to watch the uh, storm surge and things, don't they? So anyway, um, let's just, uh, you know, hope that the world uh, will uh, follow after Jesus and turn from their sin. And uh, who knows, perhaps God will let the world carry on longer and perhaps 71 million won't die if North Korea attacks in 2019 to 2022 because that is 376 years after Cromwell uh, when all those people died the first war there was a, a, a war if you took the 376 from uh, 1543 I take it the first world war you can't say about that being there was only 400 died. Um, there was like 85,000. It was a major battle with Cromwell. It wasn't just a skirmish like what happened there in the Mediterranean with the Pope's uh, soldiers. Uh, anyway, the thing is, uh, that's it. So I think I'll just have to go off now. I've got work to get done again. Bye. Right. Ow.